Tremont streets. This is the only marking at this intersection that these crosswalks are here. There's no stop sign, there are no traffic lights, and there is not a reflective sign on the double yellow line as you see at other locations. And that's why neighbors have been telling me this morning, even before yesterday's tragedy, they considered this a very dangerous intersection. Tragedy did occur here yesterday, though. About 3.30 in the afternoon, police telling us that two people were struck by an SUV. One woman is in the hospital this morning, still recovering. She is expected to be okay. However, the same cannot be said for a woman in her 70s who did not survive the crash. We first brought you this is breaking news on the Fox 25 News at 5 and 6 yesterday, right after it happened. And that's when we learned the driver of the car told police the sun glare made it hard to see. This happened around 3.30. She was driving west as that sun was setting. And witnesses say that driver was very, very upset. And when I looked towards the direction, the sun was setting. So I'm sure the sun was in her eyes. It was just, it clearly appeared to be an accident. And I just felt terrible for all parties involved. At last check, that driver is not facing charges, at least not yet and in the next hour you'll hear once again from witnesses and neighbors who talk about their concerns about this intersection and what they feel should be done in the future live in the south end i'm michael henry fox 25 news this morning a mother and a newborn baby continue to recover from a three-car crash in manchester new hampshire yesterday we showed you the startling video of the family's car flipping in the air Brittany bowden was badly hurt and had emergency c-section her husband dislocated a hip his he flew out the window the woman's father tells us even though the baby was born more than a month early, he's doing well. He um, is, was due on Christmas, um, but he's a big baby. He's almost five pounds. Two drivers involved in the car crash have not yet been charged. The witness tells Fox News that road rage could be a factor in the crash. Police are still investigating. Police hope surveillance photos can help them track down a man and a woman accused of vandalizing cars at Bedford High School. Here are the pictures of the car that police say the suspects drove off in. They smashed car windows but did not take anything from the car. Students cannot believe that someone targeted cars in that parking lot. I think it's pretty awful. Like, those are the um, driver's ed cars that were parked there, so I don't know why anybody would ever do that. Police say the suspects were driving an older style white Ford Explorer with a damaged driver's side door handle. Burlington police are looking for two people they say robbed a store and in the process of escaping assaulted an employee. The two men they came into eye care optics on Middlesex Turnpike on Monday afternoon. One of them began stuffing designer eye glass frames into his jacket and that's when the office manager at eye care optics tried to stop one of the suspects from leaving. The suspect then allegedly punched the office manager in the face. The store owner hopes surveillance video can help solve the crime. I hope somebody can help us, uh, you know to catch them, to prevent the, the, this incident happen again to other, you know, store owner or small business owner like me. Burlington police say they believe these two suspects may have committed similar robberies in other communities. A Somerville police officer is gaining high praise this morning after he went above and beyond the call of duty. It all started when the female officer pulled Robin Sutherland over Wednesday morning. Sutherland was very upset because she had just learned that her mother would be going into hospice care. When the officer found out, she let her off with a warning. And then, when Sutherland got home from work, she found a bouquet of flowers with a very kind note signed, The Officer That Pulled You Over This Morning. Very nice gesture there. 840 this morning, a push to remove all federal regulations from marijuana. Coming up at night, the major presidential <laughs> candidate who wants to make pot legal everywhere. But first, a local doctor says he was treated like a criminal while his wife underwent surgery for cancer. The reason for the extra security and why a judge says a Boston hospital went too far. And you know it's been a rough day on the roads when an hour commute is a good thing. We're down to just 58 minutes on the pike eastbound from the Western Tolls into Boston. Remember, it was up to 100 minutes during that accident. Sherry? So the Boston area points north and west stay dry today, but southeastern Massachusetts where we have to watch for a late day shower today. I'll show you how much wetter and warmer it gets tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah.
It's not getting your best sleep? Could be you've got the wrong bed. Enter Sleep Number. She likes the bed soft. He's more hardcore. You can both adjust the bed for the best sleep of your life. Save $500 on the Veterans Day Special Edition mattress with Sleep IQ technology plus 36 month special financing. No better sleep with Sleep Number. Dear fellow citizen, I get that it's hard to say no when your kids want toys. Oh, how cute. The dominant. Isn't that so sweet, honey? That she's dominant over you. The baby is so dominant. Okay, so ask me. I can help you avoid fees. Sincerely, Elizabeth. Fellow working mom. Do you want to make more coffee? What? Do you want to make some coffee? You forgot the milk. Oh, not really. Please. You want coffee? Exactly. I wouldn't object. Here, try <laughs> Pebbles, you're such a bitch. Did you know that? You're a bitch. Honey, honey, stand over. Lay down. Hey, lay down. Down. Lay down, honey. You stand over her. That would be. Okay.